Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna to be working on this 2010 Camaro. It's got a cold air intake, and otherwise it's pretty much stock. It's a low mileage car, real clean. Uh, it has a super chip in it, and I was looking at some of those things, and it does have some of the uh, torque management stuff pulled out of it, but not all of it. Uh, but those chips usually only get you so close, it's just a base tune that they send out and you load it into your car. So today we're gonna to go through and actually dial in all the fuel and timing and everything, make sure the car's not knocking and all of that. So gonna uh, do that, I already got the car unlocked and got the tuner set up. So gonna go make a log file for partial throttle and then adjust that and then move on to full throttle. I got my O2 sensor that I'll end up installing and I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. All right, so as you guys can see, I got the scanner opened up, the VCM scanner scanner, and HP tuners. And right now I just started the car and it's trying to pull like 2% fuel just at idle. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the car completely warm up and then I'll go ahead and drive. You can see like as you vary RPM, the scanner will pull up and go back down and then it starts working all of these tables right here to figure out if it's either trying to add or subtract fuel based on the stock fueling and what it wants. All right, so as you can see, it's picking up the difference and it's all still pretty close right there at the idle area. So the air fuel target and what it's actually getting is within a couple, like 1%, half a percent, really close at that area. So I'll go ahead and take a log at wide open throttle and see what it does. All right, so after doing the part throttle tuning and idle, everything's within like 2%. Most of it's within one, so that's really good. You wanna to try to target within like three to five. Uh, so I'm not even gonna adjust the part throttle tuning. Everything seems like it's pretty good. The car's happy with where it's at. All right, so getting ready to do wide open throttle tuning. I got the wide band in. It's an LM2, like an Innovate deal. So I just kind of use some masking tape, bring it up into the car and it'll sit right here. I need to get the extension cable and then I can actually mount this on the suction cup up there, kind of like the GoPro is or whatever. But uh, so then that'll come over and it outputs the signal into the HP tuners here. That's the biggest thing with HP tuners pro that a lot of people don't understand is for you to get an O2 reading, like your fuel ratio, you gotta have this because it will uh, input the wideband signal from the wideband controller into the HP tuners. If you don't have that, you have no way to log your wide uh, wideband, your air fuel ratio and everything because the stock, the stock O2 sensors in like a Camaro or any of the real GM cars are narrow band, so they don't pick up their fuel ratio, they just pick up uh, whether it's really rich or lean based on what the computer's looking for. It's not looking for the actual ratio. So you gotta use an aftermarket, and I could have taken this and tied this into like the stock port and the exhaust or whatever, but you can use these Innovate little deals. It's got like a little screw on it that mounts this, but because of this different exhaust tip, I end up just using a vice grip and padding it so I don't scratch it up, but it'll just sample the air out of here and then it feeds the computer with what I need it to feed. So we'll go ahead and get that set up and go from there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the wide open throttle tuning and I got the wide band set up like I showed you guys. You can see that it's reading now here and then I'll click record and you should be able to see it. I've set it up right here. So MPVI, that's the input, Innovate LM2 and it's 22. Uh, AFR because the car's not running 20.9 so it's a little off um, I'll have to see what's up with that and figure out what the reading is it might just need to update once the car starts running it usually will equal out so go ahead and do that and go make some logs and see what it does all right so I'm gonna do just a low wide open throttle pull try to stay in a lower gear so you're not going above the speed limit or anything and just getting a good, trying to get a real smooth uh, reading from the O2 sensor at what the air fuel is at wide open throttle. So a lot of the new GM vehicles with electronic transmissions, you can put them in manual, put them in a lower gear, and then do your ramp run from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording, I'll re and then I'll start recording again. So then uh, I'm only getting the data from the pull, not all the driving data that I have. Go ahead and got that. Put the car into first gear or manual uh, standard mode, and then I can use the tap shifts to control what gear I'm in. So manual three, manual two. So I can make a full throttle run from like two to five, six thousand RPM just to verify everything looks good. Look at the log, no knock, add a 
little bit of knock before so it had like 23 degrees of timing in it and i've tuned an ls3 before and it really liked 18 degrees so i just went ahead and put 18 degrees in it to see if it likes that and it didn't knock so jack the owner of the car also said that he puts good 90 here in colorado we get 91 uh it's kind of the highest we really don't get any 93 so he puts pure 91 in it no ethanol content fuel or anything he goes out to the uh little vp dealer and gets it from there so it has real good fuel in it so actually i could probably put a little bit more timing in it and it'll like it better than the car that had just 91 pump in it all right so i'm gonna go home and i'll look over the data log and see what we need to adjust all right so i went ahead and made a pull as you can see i pulled it up to about 5800 rpm right here and across here you can see what the air fuel error is so it's trying to add about seven six eight nine percent fuel so i, I kind of you can kind of take a good average of all this about eight percent fuel and i'm going to go ahead and add that to the mass airflow curve all right so i went ahead and added about eight percent fuel in the wide open throttle area of the mass airflow everything else is still about one percent so we just got to get the mass airflow down into that hopefully three percent range uh, and see how it does so i'm going to go make another pull try to mimic exactly what i did try to keep it exactly the same so that's where it's nice having a dyno is you can replicate it exactly the same every time uh with just driving around or whatever it's hard to replicate because of the road and where it's at so you want to try to replicate it the best you can the exact same pull to verify that it's not you changing it uh it's the actual numbers and what you're doing is changing to verify that the tune is staying where you want it to stay so i'm going to go and do that and hopefully everything's good all right so as you guys can see now it's wanting to pull some fuel up top down below it looks really good but now it's trying to pull like four percent ish so sometimes you'll just go back and forth so i will actually do half of that and i'll pull two percent and then it should be right there where i need it to be all right so now you guys can see that after doing that it is pretty consistent now within two three percent um the four and down from there it's a little off because that's when the car's deselling so yeah uh, when you're deselling it can change your numbers so you kind of have to be able to watch when you're doing it and verify everything because when it decels and the fuel hits uh it can it will change these numbers some too so uh, everything will look good on the pool within about two three percent so you're gonna go ahead and leave it at that and call that good so you're gonna go ahead and set everything back to the way it needs to be in the tune and it should be good to go all right so i went and made one last pull everything looks real good it's not correcting a bunch uh not a lot of knock one little spot of knock so i might pull a degree back out of it just to keep it away from knocking but as long as he keeps good fuel in it we should be okay uh it's not real aggressive so uh that should be about it so thanks everybody for watching and i hope you tune in next time for the next tune vlog whatever i'm doing i appreciate everybody watching thank you we'll see you next time